Indian Arrows having also beaten Sudeva Delhi football club earlier in the campaign. Both these teams have got that elusive victory over Sudeva Delhi. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. We heard from Yan Law that Aizol definitely have their eyes on the top seven spot. On the other hand, Indian Arrows would like to gather as many points as they can. This is Luanga. This is a chance. The shot comes in. In the end, easily collected. But that definitely was, like I said, this is an intriguing battle. Both teams not holding back. This is Vibin. Oh, what a ball that is for Tyson. Tyson in the box. Can he put in a good ball? Tyson lays it back. This is Vibin. Leaves it behind. Oh, it was not far away. Sibajit with the effort in the end. Aizol FC also named the People's Club. They've got a huge support system. Back in Imphal. In Mizoram rather. The downfall for the size all defense is Harsh Patri almost played it through to Parthiv Gogoi. But here comes Chunga down the left hand side and plays in a good ball. David Zate, this is a chance now. Rem Sanga! Brijesh with a good block in. And gets in the way of Harsh Patri and the ball. This is Parthiv Gogoi. Leaves out a good ball for the overlapping. That's a good ball in. That's the header. And that's one where Tyson probably should have hit the target in so much of space. But that was a good ball forward from Chunga. David Zate. Nice to find the Panda Deka. And he does get the free kick. Just gets there ahead of Raj Basfore. Experience from the Cameroonian Dipanda Dika wins a free kick in a very, very good position for Aizol Football Club as the referee brandishes a yellow card to Raj Basfore, Luanga and Samuel standing over the ball. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Luanga! Oh, it's just wide of the goal. It was not very far away. Harsh Patre shifts it onto his right hand side. Levan Castagna takes the shot on, which is not a bad one. And that's what Anuj is telling Kalandorov. Eyes all in possession. Kenga lifts it up, looks to find Dika, and he does. This is Dika! What a finish, but what an absolutely delicious ball that is. My word. That ball to Dika. If that Cameroonian didn't finish that and placed it as easy as he like it from Dipanda Dika. Aizol Football Club made their way back, made their way into the I-League in 2016 and guess what, in their opening season, but this is Rem Sangha, that's a beautiful piece of skill from Rem Sangha, he gets it back, poorly given away, this is Dipanda Dika with the chance, oh, that is sensational stuff. And how often have we seen this? from Indian Arrows. They just tend to lose it in the second half and towards the end of that first half and Aizol Football Club are on their way to a second victory on the trot. But it all started with that Rem Sangha run. But look at that ball once again. It looks like it was... But here come Aizol FC just couldn't lay it down. But Dipanda Dika on that occasion, that was Samuel once again. 
Pass for less on the ball. This is well. Valanco lifts it into the box, and that's an effort which looked like well, one in which Bwanga has certainly come out on top so far. Coming back to Indian Arrows 2018 19, they finished 8 out of 11. 19 20 and 2021, they both finished last on the table. They languish right now in 12th position, but they got that victory against Mohammedan Sporting, which is surely something that are going that is going to boost their confidence. But here's Deepanda Dika for the hat trick. Should have got it, shouldn't he? With the quality that he possesses, Deepanda Dika with a lot of promise shown in the opening half of football. Here comes Silo. Harshpatre lays it, tries to lay it on to Silo. The shot comes in, is a thunderous one from Parthiv Gogoi. But beautifully played. This is Samuel. He runs into the defender on that occasion. And here goes David Zate. It is David Zate with a slightly heavy touch. And he does cut it back. But he shortened his angle by taking that extra touch, which was a little heavy in the end. That's what he does beautifully. Spreads the ball onto the left-hand side. This is Prajesh with the cross in. In the end, there was a clash with the goalkeeper. And Suhail Bhatt. It's a silo. Shreyas Ketkar. Satendra Yadav. He has a chance now. Shayan Das. Shayan Das with a good cross in. Oh, that was not far away. Satendra Yadav with a good effort. That was a good straight to Sajad who's almost given it away this is Chunga he gets it back in possession for Aizol Remsanga lifts it forward Dipanda Tika just steals it from him doesn't he Zahid on that occasion this is a goal kick taken and this is fallen straight to Dipanda Tika for the hat trick it's Dipanda Dika who fails to slot it past and on rushing Zahid, which he probably should have. And with that, we come to the end of this game. It is Aizol Football Club who have come out triumphant with a goal in each half against Indian Arrows, led by that man, the Cameroonian Dipanda.